for the final Flexbox property, we will learn about FlexGrow in React Native. FlexGrow determines how much space an item should occupy inside a Flex container when there is extra space available. Similar to Flex Shrink, the FlexGrow factor is always relative to other items within the container. Let's understand how it works with the UI. By default, Flex items only take up the space required to fit their content. This results in extra space within our container. However, there are situations where we want the flex items to grow and fill up the remaining space. By default, all flex items have a flex grow value of zero, which prevents them from using the available extra space. To change this behavior, we can use the flex grow property with a positive value. Initially, we'll set flex grow of item 5 to 0. Save the file. And you will observe no change as 0 is the default value. However, when we set flex grow to 1 for item 5 and save again, you will notice that item 5 now grows to occupy all the remaining space in the container. We can apply the same to item 6 by setting its flex grow to 1 as well. Save the file. And you will notice the additional space is evenly distributed between items 5 and 6. For instance, if there were 100 pixels available, both items would grow by an additional 50 pixels. Now, let's experiment further by changing the value of flex grow on item 6 to 3 from 1. As a result, item 6 will take up the extra space 3 times more than item 5. The flex grow factor is relative, meaning if item 5 grows by 25 pixels, item 6 grows by 75 pixels, 3 times as much. If we want all items to grow and use the extra space evenly, we can apply flex grow 1 to all flex items. Instead of setting flex grow individually for each item, we can add it to the common style box applied to every item. By doing so, all the items will evenly take up the leftover space, resulting in a cleaner layout as you can see. To summarize, the flex grow property determines the amount of available space inside the flex container that an item should take up. The flex grow factor is also relative to other items in the container. The default value of zero signifies that the items should not grow. When we set flex grow to one for all flex items, they will grow evenly whenever there is additional space in the container. Now you might be thinking, hang on, doesn't the flex property which we learned at the start of the section have the same behavior? Well. Kind of. When flex is set to a positive number, it is equivalent to setting flex grow with the same positive number. However, it also implicitly sets flex shrink to 1 and flex basis to 0. In other words, flex set to a positive number is equivalent to flex grow set to the same positive number, flex shrink set to 1, and flex basis set to 0. Although flex1 achieves the same result as flex grow1, keep in mind that flex shrink and flex basis are also implicitly set. This is something we wouldn't be able to understand at the very beginning of this section. But with the newfound knowledge of flex basis, flex shrink, and flex grow, you are now in a position to understand what the flex property does under the hood. Alright, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.